Warning, this video may contain content that may not be suitable for children or anyone else that is easily offended. Strong language, graphic content, nudity, bad jokes, and a possible idiot, aka myself, may be featured in the following clip. Viewer discretion is advised. You're not responsible for any damage that you receive watching this video. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Zims, and welcome to Seven Terrifying Close Calls Caught on Camera Number Two. I don't know why I skipped Number One, but I did. If you guys haven't already, be sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can know. And when I drop all my new videos, man, this video is by Fact Fiction. So if you guys haven't already, be sure you swoop down the description box, click on that link, go watch the videos in entirety because I'm gonna be pausing and stopping and talking through the whole thing. Thank you guys so much, man. We just hit 2,700. We're right around the corner from 2,800. You guys are doing way too much for someone like me. But for now, let's get. Ooh, that was a loud one, huh? No, sucre, some of that It's a scary world out there. It, it, and no it matter is. how many precautions we take, the potential for danger is still all around us. Facts. You never know when you could find yourself in a life or death situation. When this happens, though, every second is crucial, and you have to think fast. Today, we'll be looking at seven more terrifying close calls caught on camera. Seven, bro. Pay attention, man. Out of nowhere. That's when it usually happens, bro. You have to pay attention. Not just because of you, because other people. those around us to follow the rules of the mm -hmm. road. When they don't, innocent people can be caught in terrifying situations. Always. On March 31st, 2018, motorcyclist Malik Elize was riding through Plano, Texas, heading north on Custer Road when he stopped at an intersection at McDermott Drive. Malik could never have imagined what his helmet-mounted GoPro camera would capture right after the traffic light turned uh -oh. green. Oh, that's key. Bruh, that's scary, man. You gotta watch other people because people can be more dangerous than you are. Ooh! Oh man. Our motorcycles are scary, bro. As he drives through the intersection, a Camaro to his left runs a red light, slamming into the SUV just feet in front of Elize, instantly creating a dangerous pileup. As the shocking footage shows, Malik is thrown off his motorcycle, but incredibly manages to hold on to the overturned SUV as it skids forward. He eventually runs to safety collapsing in a grassy area beside the intersection. Miraculously, no one involved in this harrowing incident was seriously injured. Even Elize's motorcycle escaped with very little damage, and he actually rode the bike home after the accident. Wow. Malik said of his experience, I was definitely lucky to get out without mm -hmm. having to go to the hospital, getting crushed between the two cars, or run over by the Camaro. That was a reality check. He also explained how the SUV in front of him shielded him from harm. Yep. Quote, I grabbed it so it helped me have better forward momentum. As soon as the Camaro hit us, you see my bike fly off, so I'm basically in the air. I don't know how to describe what I did. It was almost like I was flailing my legs to kind of run forward to avoid being crushed. The incident was the third time in just two years that Malik had been hit by another vehicle mm -hmm. on his motorcycle. Oh, With three bruh. close calls on his record, he is definitely one lucky rider. Shit, if it was me, it would have been one lucky X rider, boy, because I am getting off the motorcycle, bro. Three times in two years, I may not sound like a lot, bro. That's a lot, bro, to be on a motorcycle and not get any scratches or nothing, bro. You got an angel, bro, holding you on the back, bro. Whoever your angel is is on the back seat of the motorcycle holding you like this, bro, because that's insane. The fact that, like, he he flew off the motorcycle, caught onto the... I thought the uh, SUV was going to flip over and land on top of him, so he's extremely lucky. I of mine lost her leg in a motorcycle accident, came right off the whole leg just off bruh so it's it's a scary so i've been in i've been in actually an actual car crash i've been in like one i think it was like back when i was like maybe 12 or 13 years old and we was turning and somebody was speeding and they hit us from the side and we spent like at least four or five six times and we hit the curb and it went like this it came back down like landed perfectly in like in a parallel park bruh and i just remember it was just glass everywhere i was crying and uh I, people was talking to me and I just, I couldn't speak. Even though I wanted to, I couldn't. I think that was the first time I've ever been in shock and that was the last time. So this is definitely a reality check for some people. And just watching this reality check, like people don't understand how life short, how short life is. A narrow escape. Let me know if you guys have any stories in the Even comment section. Even when we aren't behind the wheel, the road can be an incredibly dangerous place. Freeway burn. One mother in Ha Long City, Vietnam, learned this lesson on December 10th, 2018, when disaster struck. Mm -mm -mm. 
Dash cam footage captured the woman who was standing beside her parked car and holding her young child. Ooh, Without warning, the unthinkable happened. <sighs> oh! Oh, see, oh my goodness, you lucky, bro. I didn't even see it, bro. I would have got ran over. Oh, man. As a large trailer truck on the opposite side of the road loses control, it bursts through a concrete divider and Damn. comes hurtling toward the woman. Clutching her child, Ooh. the panicked mother somehow runs out of the way and misses being struck with only moments to spare. Bro, like this close. The truck reportedly swerved to avoid another vehicle. It not only nearly hit the mother and child, but also narrowly avoided colliding head-on with a silver Toyota. Bro, look at this. While three vehicles were significantly damaged here, by this shocking accident, no injuries were reported. Ooh, this close call close. is a powerful reminder to always Ooh. be aware of your surroundings. Bruh, mama got strength, bruh. She had on slides, bruh. And it's not easy to run fast in slides. I'll tell you that right now, bruh. It's, it's real easy for your feet can slide forward and your toe jam on the sidewalk, bruh. Don't ask me how I know. I just know. But seconds of spare. Ooh, man, making my heart rush, bruh. When it comes to live events, spectators are usually far safer than those they're watching. But that was not the case at the 2014 Jolly Rally in Italy's Val d'Aosta, the, the popular racing event was quite memorable for all the wrong reasons. Footage from the rally shows multiple cars sliding around a particularly tight corner before continuing along the track. The footage also shows a Renault Clio Super 1600 barreling around the same corner. However, this maneuver goes horribly wrong when the driver loses control of the speeding car See, okay. and it goes flying off the track and directly toward a group of fans watching the race. Oh! Oh my... Bro, In I an can't. incredible stroke of luck, the group of nearly a dozen terrified spectators managed to avoid being hit by the runaway car, some of them by mere inches as they scramble to safety. Unbelievably, even as the vehicle flips over, no one is struck by the wreckage. The vehicle's driver and navigator, Piero Scavone and Diego de Heron, were taken to the hospital following the crash, but neither was seriously injured. Ooh. One of the fans who barely escaped from the car's path did faint from the experience, but everyone involved was lucky to walk away from this near-fatal crash with their lives. Bruh, man, you shouldn't be driving nothing that with a long-ass name like that. It was like the Super 3GX T400 960-something supercar. Like, no, bro, that's too many damn numbers, bro. Just get me a 2021, whatever it is, and I'll be happy with that. Hopefully, it's good on gas. Bro, because you know, I like to get my mouse per gallon and give them those sand bread. I remember back then, I was like, I want a Mustang, I want this. And I started seeing how much some shits for fucking use gas. Hell nah, bro. Give me a little Toyota, a Kia, something, bro. Something that's good on gas, bro. Ford, Ford Focus, anything, bro. I'll take it, bro. Man, bro, that, that flip almost crushed that poor girl, bro. Everybody ran but her. I think she was just like, I don't know, maybe she was like, damn, this is it. Your wedding is meant to be the happiest event of your life, but celebrations turned almost deadly for one unlucky bride I don't who like wanted big to, quote, trash the dress. After getting married in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, Amy Zuno took part in a new tradition of destroying a wedding dress after the big day. No, she opted what? to ruin her dress by jumping into the ocean while wearing it, but the fun event quickly became a terrifying ordeal. Is it a shark in the water? Oh no! Oh, she's, oh, she's stuck underneath. Oh. Somebody don't got a knife or something? Nobody thought that through. The moment Amy hits the water, her Just gown envelops said. and clings to her body, hiding her face from view and preventing her from reaching the surface of the water. As Amy's new husband, Eric, and their friends realize what's happened, they swim to her aid, racing against time to find an opening in the ballooned mass of the wedding gown. Just in the nick of time, the group managed to uncover the bride's face, and while she was shaken from the experience, she was not harmed. This newlywed couple could never have imagined such a harrowing incident could take place just hours after their wedding. In this case, trashing the dress turned into a near drowning and a bride barely escaping with her life.
That would have been the fastest divorce in human history, bruh. Got her and lost her just like that. But, I mean, she tried to go out in style and trash the dress. I guess that's a new I've never really heard of that called trash the dress. I guess, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't trash it because that's just like a, I guess it's a sentimental thing, but it's also a memory too. I mean, it depends on a person, you know, do what you want with it. But um, I would I would keep something like that. But I prefer, I personally don't like big weddings. Um, If I do end up getting married, I don't know if I will, but if I do, I want something like small. I don't want nothing super huge. I don't want nothing super expensive because it's just like, I'd rather have like a little small wedding and use the rest of that money to maybe go on vacation for like a month or two months or something like that. That's just me. A dangerous crossing. And I'm not talking about animal. There's something to be Animal said crossing. for following the rules. Early in the morning on May 5th, 2020, well, a man in Enfield, England, broke the rules, and it almost cost him his life. He did, isn't Surveillance it? footage from the Brims Down Level Crossing in the Enfield Borough of London shows the man ignoring warning signs and forcing his way through the barriers that have been lowered to signify the approach of a train. After squeezing himself through, he ambles across the tracks, oh. all the while clearly misjudging the distance between himself and the oncoming train. In a nail-biting final moment, the man clears the tracks just seconds before the train barrels past. Bro, what's wrong he with escapes people, bro? with his life by merely a footstep. Just wait. The British Transport Police were not able to immediately identify the man, but publicized his near miss with a warning about public safety. Inspector Stephen Webster said, this was a completely needless incident, yeah. and one that requires our attention and investigation at a time when officers could be supporting the latest guidance around COVID-19 and helping to keep the traveling public safe. The warning signs, barriers, and flashing lights are all there for a reason. This careless man almost lost his life in an attempt to save only a few minutes. Yeah. But others who have crossed the tracks at the wrong time have reportedly not been so lucky. Man, like he said, bro, a couple of minutes to get to wherever you're going is not worth your life, man. Just wait. The train, see how fast it was going. Them things was about to be up in no time, bro. You'd have waited like 30 seconds. You'd have been on the other side. Like, what? Don't do that, people. Please, we we watch all these videos. Do not ignore signs bro do not ignore flashing lights if everyone else is stopped please don't try to be that individual like well i'm gonna be the one to do it. cool bro you can be that you're gonna also be the first one to be buried bro please do not do anything like that that that's just plain dumb usually i don't i don't like rag on people but that was just plain dumb bro he might have been having a bad day but still sometimes the strong connection between a mother and her child can save the day Especially oh, no. when a normal situation quickly becomes extreme. On June 19th, 2019, a mother entered the Laurelis Colonial Office Building in Medellin, Colombia with her young son. As the pair waited to be buzzed into the office of construction company Montserrat, the unthinkable happened. CCTV footage shows the pair waiting outside the office doors. As the mother looks at her cell phone, the young boy lets go of her hand and wanders over to a railing overlooking oh. the building's staircase. Thinking there is a glass panel in the railing, the boy kneels down and stretches his palms outward to steady himself, only to fall through the glassless opening. With lightning fast reflexes, the mother lunges toward her son oh. and incredibly manages to catch him by the ankle Damn. before he plummets to the floors below. A courier standing nearby quickly springs to action, along with other witnesses in the building, who help the woman pull her son back up to safety. Oh. It's not known if the young boy was injured at all by his almost fall, but it's certain that his mother's quick reaction saved him from being seriously injured or even killed. Mm. In this case, motherly instinct and rapid reflexes likely saved a child's life. Bro, like y'all don't understand how crazy that is. Just imagine, bro. She just looked down a few more seconds just to look at Facebook or she got a notification or someone called her and she wasn't paying attention to her kid. Now, mind you, there's a lot of parents. I'm not trying to rag on parents, but there's a lot of parents. You see all the time, they do not look after their kids, bro. Their kids can be down two or three aisles, bro, and they don't know their kids are there. Their kids can be breaking something. They don't know they're either breaking something. Kids move quick, bro. They're small, but they, they leave like this, bro, if you take your eyes off of them 100%. I know because I have plenty of little cousins. I have plenty, you know, little sister. Like babysitter before, bro. Kids 
will leave. If it gets quiet, bruh, you know something's going down. If all of a sudden you hear them playing, the TV's loud, and it just gets quiet, go look for them, bruh, because nine times out of ten, they're doing something that they're not supposed to be doing, or they might be in danger. So please keep an eye on your children, not just for circumstances like this, but also for predators, bruh. Pay attention to your kids, man. Ooh, why the felt like it was my kid? Oh, I couldn't even imagine, man. That's scary. I think that was the scariest one. Let me know down in the comment section. Ooh, man. Terror on the road. August 31st, 2013. Ooh, it was a water. stormy day in northern Taiwan. As drivers navigated Bianying Road amid heavy rain and darkening sky, they had no idea of the shock that was in store for them. Dash cam video shows a white sedan driving carefully along the slick streets, briefly edging into the opposite lane to avoid a deep puddle of stormwater. As the sedan rounds a gentle curve, a sudden shower of mud and debris comes hurtling down the mountain to the right, spilling into the road. Where? Oh! The force of the mudslide knocks the car across the road to the opposite shoulder, and just seconds later, an enormous boulder lands in the space where the sedan had just been. The giant rock even teeters on the brink of rolling into the car, but incredibly, the vehicle is untouched. The man who captured the shocking dashboard video, Lai Hong Wei, reported that the white car's driver and passenger suffered only minor injuries. Tropical storm Kong Ray had loosened the soil on the mountain and landslide warnings were in effect in the area where the video was taken. In fact, at the start of the video, the mm, boulder mm, mm. can be seen as it begins to fall down the side of the mountain. If it weren't for the initial surge of mud and rock knocking the car aside, it surely would have been crushed. Ooh. This was an incredible escape, all thanks to the powerful force of nature. Look at that big ass boulder. Bruh, oh my lord, man. That's why I stay in the house. <laughs> I mean, something could fall out the, the sky and land on me and stuff like that, but. Or an earthquake, you know, the building could collapse. I know, but like, man, man, it's just, it's crazy how nature is, bruh. I did not see that rock fall at the top of that building. And imagine he was driving, you can't even see that far up. Man, that's a big ass rock, bruh. If y'all got any dash cam footage or any dash cam stories or anything you'd like to share with me, please let me know down in the comment section. Dang, this is like worse. This one got me more tight than the paranormal videos oh man that's scary bro it made me want to look twice in every direction bro that's why you got to carry gerbers bro you got to carry that the weapon you got to carry safety stuff medical bag like you never know when you might need it or someone else might need it like that girl that jumped in a, the water her face was covered bro it took like a little gerber or knife cut like a little opening so they can get her face out of there but this video is by fact fiction so if you guys haven't already be sure you shoot down the description box Click on that link, go watch the bills in entirety because I was pausing and stopping and talking through the whole thing. Oh man, let me know down in the comment section which one you thought was the most scariest, bruh. The kid one is by far, it takes the cake, bruh. I think the kid one should have been number one, bruh. Oh man, I think that's every parent's worst nightmare to see or even experience something like that. I remember I caught my sister one time when she fell off this bed. She was little too. She was like, but I don't know what kind of what, what months are those when a baby can start to turn over and like on her stomachs and stuff, like they can start to roll different and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But she almost fell over, bruh. I dove over there like Odell Beckham, bro, was like this. Caught her head in my hand like that. She was about to go head first. Like, wow. So that's why Zims is always preaching the safety tips. But if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Prowl Zims, and welcome to the Crow's Nest. But again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.